What is going on, world-class athlete? In today's video, you're gonna learn my three best tips for how to generate massive topspin on your forehand using the same biomechanical principles that the best players in the world use on every forehand. So if you're ready to take that forehand to the next level, start being able to accelerate as hard as you want while still being 100% consistent, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to master the three elements. In the first section, you're gonna learn how to use the natural arc of your arm to generate massive topspin while hitting out and going forward as hard as you want, just like that. In the second section, you're gonna learn the three anatomical motions to massive topspin and how to use the natural elastic energy in your muscle fibers to truly get that massive whip. In the third and final section, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to use your trunk to generate massive topspin on your forehand uh, and how to execute under pressure. So if you're thrilled to transform your forehand, let's jump right into that first section. All right, Nala, I'm so excited to be developing your ATP forehand today. This is gonna be so awesome. So in the first section, we're gonna learn about how you can generate massive topspin by using the natural curve of your shoulder, just like that. So during the acceleration, it's broken down into two phases. The first phase is when you initially accelerate, the racket will flip, but then as it's going forward, it will reach what's known as the transition point. From this point, the racket will start to go forward and the arm will travel towards the middle of the trunk. And this is where the massive amount of topspin is created. So what's awesome is that you can get loads of spin right now by instead of trying to hit up and tighten up like a lot of players do, you're gonna focus on pulling that arm to go forward and wrapping around the body just like that. So the step-by-step -step process, how we're gonna do this, we're gonna do a split. You're gonna load up on the right leg with the trunk rotated like you always do, perfect. Then you're gonna push off the right and instead of rotating the trunk all the way around, you're gonna keep that trunk rotated towards the side fence like that and focus on really pulling your arm forward and across, generating that massive topspin. All right, so get that trunk rotated more than the hips, push off and then pull. Such good spin, that's awesome. Feel it in the pec. Good, way to pull that arm forward, that's so strong. Yes, great leg drive, look at all that power. Great spin, so good, drive it. Excellent, let's go, drive it. Yes, that's fantastic. All right, that feel amazing? Okay, that was so good. So, for you guys watching, the number one thing you wanna focus on the next time you're out on the court with your forehand to get that massive spin. Instead of tightening or creating more spin by hitting up, you can actually get massive spin just like you saw Nala doing by pulling the arm forward to tap into that natural arc where the arm travels in towards that midline. All right, so now she's got that mastered. We're gonna jump right into the three anatomical motions of massive topspin. So now that you understand exactly how to accelerate and why it's so important to hit through the ball, now we're gonna cover the three top anatomical motions to generating massive spin on your forehand, just like that. So the key is after you finish your backswing with the racket tip up and away like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on driving the legs rotating and then creating the first anatomical motion, which is the adduction of the arm. That's just like what you learned in the first section of really pulling that arm forward to go through the ball and into the net at contact, just like that. The second anatomical motion is, you've driven the legs rotated, the second anatomical motion is now you also want the racket to travel up. This is gonna be shoulder flexion. Now, the awesome thing about accomplishing these two motions simultaneously is now, because your wrist is in a relaxed position, it's gonna create this deep racket flip. And one thing you'll see, especially with, uh, if we pull out Nadal's forehand, you'll see that when he accelerates, his arm is gonna achieve those first two motions, which creates the third anatomical motion, which is gonna be wrist extension. And on the most dominant top spin forehands in the game, you'll see that as you accelerate, you want the tip to actually be pointing perpendicular to the face of the court. This is gonna give you that maximum runway to be able to generate that massive topspin into the forehand, uh, just like that. So, Nala's gonna go ahead and jump in and hit those three anatomical motions. Here you go, good, prep. Nice, that's perfect. Prep it, yes, up and away, up and away, flexion. So good, nice. So another drill that uh, you can use if you're working with a friend 
is you can have your friend actually grab your racket and add a little bit of resistance. So I'm gonna hold your racket, you'll accelerate with a loose wrist and you're gonna feel an even deeper flip. Go for it, champ. Good, you go super fast with the leg drive, pull. Good, you feel in the shoulder, that's awesome. Let's go, three more, pull. Great flip, go and pull. Good, two more, and pull. Yes, last one, that's so awesome. Ready, let's go, drive it. Super good, all right, she's on fire, let's get it, ready? Yeah, go big, go big. Good, match point. So good. All right, she's getting an insane level of flip. So athletes, you've now mastered exactly how to use the shoulder, the three anatomical motions. Let's close with how to use your trunk to get even more top. All right, here we go, let's jump right in. Use that trunk, lateral transfer. Great tops and it's so good. Nice, up and away, that is massive. All right, as you guys can see in this last section, you're gonna learn exactly how Nala was getting all of that added top spin of how she was using her entire body. So what you can do to generate massive top spin on top of what you've learned so far is executing the move known as the lateral transfer. The lateral transfer looks like just what Nala was doing, where you set up and then you uh, tilt the trunk to the side, getting that massive spin just like that. So here's the step-by-step -step process of exactly how to execute it. Phase number one is you wanna load up into a semi-open stance. From that position, you shift your weight from the back leg to the front leg, focusing on rotating the trunk this way, as well as laterally tilting the trunk to the side. That's why it's called the lateral transfer, because you're really emphasizing that lateral tilt. So the next time you're on your match, it's a really tight situation. You've gotta make the shot. Just focus on setting up, getting that perfect prep, and then really tilting uh, the trunk and getting that massive spin just like that. So let's close it out with Nala crushing some more lateral transfers. Let's get it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna really challenge your feet moving up and back. Ready? You go wide split, back, load up, tilt it. So good. All the way back in and split, up, wide split, go. Great tilt, wide split. Yes, two more. We're coming back in. Good. Come on, come on. Yes, match point. Let's see your absolute best. Let's go. Great feet. Get there. Yeah. Let's go, Nala. Awesome job. All right, world-class athletes. I hope you absolutely love, love, love this video. I hope this is gonna allow you to transform your forehand, to take it to the next level. When I first started playing tennis, I was like just trying to hit the ball so hard with my arm, it felt terrible. But by you mastering and using these three best tips for how to generate massive top spin on your forehand, I know it's gonna make a huge difference for you. If you wanna get even more one-on-one -on -one support with me, go ahead and click the link in the description, and I'll see you on the next week's video. Let's go.